Author Scott White is on a mission to make the world happier one smile at a time. With his endless energy, he motivates and inspires everyone he meets to focus on happiness, gratefulness, and positivity. Those are three beautiful things. He's joining us now uh, with more on his book, Life is Too Short. Scott, good morning. How you doing? Good morning. I'm doing wonderful. How are you? We're great. Good. We're great. I love it. I love the philosophy, Scott. Tell us first, why did you want to write this book? I've long been a very positive, happy, energetic, grateful person. And I've heard people say to me many times, I wish I could just bottle up some of that energy and share it with the world. So as we were going through the pandemic and I'm watching so much negativity and so much pessimism as related to the pandemic and, and other things that we look around in the national media, I said, you know what, here's how I'm gonna package that up and, and put it in a book and share it with the world. And I'm now on a mission to make the world happier one smile at a time. Mm. All right, and who did you write this book for, Scott? You know, this book is so approachable and practical. Anyone can read it, literally anyone. Look, I think that, that as people go through transitions in their life, this would be a great time. You're graduating, you're dealing with a new job, a new city, uh, uh, a death or a divorce or something like that, but it doesn't have to be that. Who wouldn't want to be happier? Anyone, anyone could one, read this book and two, take away practical tips. And Scott, so tell us about where the life is too short guy philosophy came from. Where did that idea spark? You know, it evolved over the course of my life. There wasn't one moment or, or one epiphany. I'd say during the pandemic, someone actually called me for the first time. You're like Mr. Life is Too Short guy. Everything has to be done now. Everything is positive, happy, get it done. And I took that and parlayed that into the book concept. So what are some of the key principles then of this philosophy? So there are 10 principles in the philosophy. The, the most important, the foundational one is attitude is everything, the power of positivity. We control so much, so much of, of, our, of our own positivity and how we, what lens we use to view the world is vitally important. Other principles are funny things are everywhere. Laugh, laugh every day, find humor and enjoy. Minutes matter is a third principle. You only have so many minutes in your life why waste those minutes on things that you don't love or things that bring you anxiety or bring you uh, sadness? Use those minutes wisely and, and, and in a fun way. Another principle is little things make a big difference. You don't have to change your entire life to live a happier, better life. There are small things and tools that I give in the book to live a happier, more fulfilling life. Oh my gosh, I love all of these. I love all of these <laughs> principles. Scott, what if somebody's just having a really hard time though and, and they're listening to these principles and they want to do it? What is your advice to, to someone who you know, may not feel like, hey, I, I'm finding joy in this, I'm not happy? What, what is your advice to, to folks that are going through a tough time? So that's where little things make a big difference because I understand that people are, are dealing with major issues in their life and not everyone is having the very best day. However, you can make small changes, very small changes. I'll give you an idea right now. How about smile? Yeah, <laughs> just smile, just smile and think about for one minute how that feels for you and those around you. It doesn't take much. Is it gonna change your day to be the best day ever? Maybe not, but is it gonna make it a little bit better? If we could do that over and over and over again, we'll make the world happier one smile at a time. See, Scott, I feel like people meet you, they go, man, this guy's got the greatest energy. He must have never dealt with anything ever. I mean, certainly you've, you've had your, your share of tough times like everybody else, right? Look, no doubt, and, and in the book, I talk about four foundational moments in my life. When I was 10 years old, my father had a heart attack. Here I am, a 10-year-old, and learning my dad had a heart attack. He fortunately survived. Then on 9-11, I was in downtown Manhattan. I walked by the World Trade Center minutes before those planes crashed. I watched the second plane crash, and boy, you want to talk about something that changes your perspective on life. I, I dealt with that. Both of my parents have passed away, both my mom and my dad. So I've had sort of three or four big milestones in my yeah. life that have certainly impacted me as I wrote this book. Oh, I can't wait. I, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely interested in getting it in. And Scott, really quickly, where can folks find it if they're, they're wanting to get this book? So it's available on Amazon, barnesandnoble.com, wherever you buy your books. Go into your local retail store. They should have it. And if they don't, ask them to order it. You could also find out more about me, the book, my speaking, and my website, lifeistooshortguy.com. And it is too short. Yes. That's a fact. Scott, thank you so much. Have a great day. You too.